was the DTU model the worst thing Microsoft has ever done to SQL Server, or am I missing something? So for those of you who haven't heard of it, because a lot of you probably haven't heard of the DTU model, when Microsoft brought out Azure SQL DB, they wanted to come up with a way to charge people uh, for how much their queries were using, you know, how much horsepower their queries were using. So they came up with this thing called database throughput units, and it was supposed to abstract a bunch of different things, like perhaps it included the cost of CPU and memory and I.O. You got DTU amounts for each of those. I think it was a noble idea, but I don't think that there is a way to really do it accurately uh, without pissing some people off. People are going to say, oh, that cost isn't right and this cost isn't right. And at the time, Microsoft didn't document it very well. They didn't explain what a DTU was. They just kept it vague and hand wavy. And I understand why they did that. It's because it, I think the DTU measure was still evolving in the beginning and they had to kind of hone it to get it right. Um, was it the worst thing that they ever did? No, if I had to say the worst thing Microsoft ever did to SQL Server, boy, that's a, that's a tough one. Because I don't think they've really, I don't think they've really screwed it. I think the the worst thing they've ever done. I don't know. You know, I have a blog post about the ten worst things that SQL Server or Microsoft ever did to SQL Server, but I don't remember what the the big answer was offhand. And it's really funny. It must be because of my vacation. But I'm so laid back and peaceful at this vacation that I'm like, well, was anything ever really bad in the grand scheme of things? Aren't, isn't everything just kind of cool? But that's why you go on vacation, so that you have those frame of mind changes.